What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fistico Series. I'm going to continue my conversation with you concerning the complete history of boxing. I'm just going to show you some more photos that I have in my collection. This is Lorenzo Strickland. You don't know much about him. He had four fights with Jake LaMotta. They were all arranged. He was in a ring with Danny Cox. You hear me talk about him many times at a hall in New York. Lorenzo Strickland took dive after dive after dive, reminded me of Billy Arnold. It also reminded me of Watson Jones. The mob got to him. Lorenzo Strickland was out of Brooklyn, New York. He was a very good fighter. This is what happened to a lot of fighters during his reign. Bid Bob Baker was out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was ranked number three in 1956. Rocky Marciano would retire. In 1956, he hung up the gloves. And Rocky Marciano would appoint Archie Moore, who he defeated the year previous in 1955. He would appoint 1952 Olympic middleweight champion, number one ranked in the light heavyweight division, Floyd Patterson. So Rocky Marciano would appoint the light heavyweight champion, Archie Moore, and the number one light heavyweight contender, Floyd Patterson, for his heavyweight championship title. Bob Baker, who was ranked number two, didn't like that very much. Number one rank was Tommy Hurricane Jackson. Jackson was going to file a complaint. And that's why Floyd Patterson would face him. He faced him before he was champion, and he made sure he had to give him a title shot after he became champion. You tell me boxing. It's a fair sport. Bob Baker. Very good heavyweight. His bout with Nino Valdez. Johnny Holman. Very good fight. And a good fighter was Bob Baker. Another fighter you might not be aware of. He was a welterweight. He was actually a contender. His name was Randy Brown. Randy Brown. Very good fighter himself. I will be discussing many of these fighters in my project. Just wanted to show you some of my photo collections. Very good fighter was Randy Brown. He was out of New York. Randy Brown. Now, I just showed you Randy Brown. Here's Rory Calhoun. Both these men lived out of White Plains in Yonkers, New York. Rory Calhoun was a very good middleweight during his day in the 1950s. I have many write-ups of Rory Calhoun. Rory Calhoun was in the movie Reckon for a heavyweight. He was in a bar with all the greats. And that was a very good scene. You get a chance to see a lot of good fighters in that scene. This is Rory Calhoun. This is a signed photo of Wesley Beacom. Very good heavyweight. October 6, 1951. The year Joe Lewis would retire. The year Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta. Here's our Charles and Willie Pep. These men would all lose. Wesley Beacom. I met this fella here. Here's another signed photo. His name is Vince Martinez. Pretty good scrapper during his day. 
Had a lot of conversations with Vince Martinez. He's a signed photo to me. Man from Utah. He's a middleweight champion. His name is Gene Fulmer. Gene Fulmer will be the only man to knock out Carmen Basilio two separate times. He put a beating on Benny Kipperet. Six months before his last fight with Amo Griffith. Benny Kipperet would die in New York's Madison Square Garden. Many believe it was from the beating. The man from Utah. Gene Former. Another boxer out of the 1950s would be in the ring with Ray Robinson and many other good fighters. His name was Rocky Castellani. It's another signed photo in my collection here. Now this fighter here, Percy Bassett, he was out of Philadelphia. He was a lightweight. Percy Bassett used to wobble when he sparred. I knew Percy Bassett in the Philadelphia gyms. He was a very good lightweight during his day. Shout out to Percy Bassett. Autumn right, Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistical Series. All great fights, all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. Thanks for watching. Be well. Peace.